The Walking Dead was promising us all-out war in season eight, but did it deliver? I'm Terry Schwartz, this is Jim Vavita. We are going full spoilers on The Walking Dead season eight premiere. Mercy, and chances are, if you hate clicked on this video because of the title, you have a general sense of our opinion of this episode. Now, Jim, you know, I'm very curious your thoughts, but I felt for a premiere episode and a 100th episode, Mercy pretty severely under-delivered. What's your take? I agree. I mean, I, I felt like there was nothing really, uh, no real sense of dramatic momentum in this episode. And you thought that there would be, given that there should be so much at stake, and yet it felt like very little was at stake. It felt like there, there was a lot of just treading water, um, which The Walking Dead has a tendency to do, usually a little later in the season. They don't usually start right off like, this felt let's like just a, do filler. It felt know? like a mid-season episode to me, and I know it's not filler. Like, it actually is one of the most action-packed episodes yeah. the, the series has ever had, but compare it to the season seven premiere, which you know we had our own share of problems with, but at least that had dramatic stakes. In this episode, it's so much about w Rick going, like, we're gonna take down Negan once and for all. Yeah. No, like, I don't believe that anyone actually thought that the end of Negan would be this premiere episode. And because of that, it felt like it wasn't packing much of a punch. And even the ending of the episode where Gabriel gets captured, I'm like, when do we start caring about Gabriel? Yeah, no, I mean, nobody cares about Gabriel. We, Sorry we if know you that. care Sorry, about Gabriel. Gabriel. <laughs> but, but no, it's just like, you know, the, the, this, the show has spent so much time making us not like that character that frankly, I forgot that we were supposed to like this guy now, that he had somehow redeemed himself. And, you know, I remember it now, but I was like, as I'm watching that, I'm like, I don't care. And his whole like sort of, he was just stupid. First of all, to go back to Gregory of all people, I understand it was the Christian thing to do. You go, you know, but I, I don't care. I don't care. And I don't <laughs> care about Gregory. And so it was just sort of, um, uh, it was kind of just, it just didn't play. It just felt like a, a cheap sort of thing. Like if there's one character you can, throw under the bus here to for some sort of dramatic hook for the next week's episode, he's your guy. And I also felt like this episode didn't tell us anything we didn't know already, didn't do anything it hadn't done already last season. Yeah. I get that we're building up to, you know, a new season-long confrontation with Negan, but if you're promising that in your marketing and then you're having this whole episode being hinged around the idea of Rick taking on Negan for the last time and killing him, it, it contradicts itself. And I also just felt like, even though this is taken straight from the comics, that might have been a hindrance to it. Like, yeah. this was an opportunity to do something different instead of, even as cool as it is going back to All Out War Part One, which is like the, this is pretty close to verbatim as far as The Walking Dead uh, pulling things from the comics goes. It just didn't work as a season premiere. And also, I felt like as a 100th episode, I for, for as, as much as you said, I forgot we were supposed to like Father Gabriel. I forgot that this was the 100th episode. And I've been doing a lot of promotional content on <laughs> IGN.com about how this is the 100th episode. No, it didn't. Look, for a 100th episode, there was nothing in this epi in this particular story that was like a milestone moment. There was nothing in there that felt uh, momentous in any way. And, and they had opportunities here for, okay, let's, let's take Rick, okay? He, um, uh, you I like know, that he, you're getting all fired up. Well, about he's getting it. all, you know, he's <laughs> speechified. Oh my God, so many speeches in this episode. Everyone has to get like up and have their speech. St. Crispin's Day speech, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, and then when the time comes, he's like, I'm going to be the one to finally kill Negan. And he's sitting there, and Negan is just speechifying. Again, with a big, wide open thing, just kill the guy. Just do it. Like, you know, it, it made no sense for why he wouldn't. The whole thing is simply, well, we can't kill Negan. Right, you can't kill Negan something. yet. Yeah. Which takes me to the point, like for all, I'm sure there are Easter eggs in there, but as someone who's watched every episode of the show, I didn't pick up on that. Well, it's maybe that. it's because it felt like we have seen all these same scenes <laughs> over and over. The Easter egg is it's rehashing the yeah. parts of the story. But I, for all that I feel like it sort of reached this lull, there are some really cool parts of the episodes that I hope are setting up a bit of a creative reset. Like we have yeah. what seem to be two separate sets of flash forwards in this episode. One is to old man Rick, as we'll call it, borrowing the old man Logan tag, where we see him with Michonne, he's bearded, he's gray haired. Uh, there's little thinning up front too. A little oh, thinning. Right, yeah. um, you know, we see a much older Judith. Uh, we seem to see Carl. And then there's another set of flashbacks that's like Rick with his red eyes. 
he's in front of a grave. It seems to be another Looks sort like of separate jump ahead. Yeah, and I think, you know, there's precedent in the comics that can lend itself to some theories, and we are going to have a deep dive theory video coming tomorrow, so keep an eye out uh, plug. on Monday on IGN.com. Plug right there. Uh, but, but there is some precedent for what these could be alluding to. They seem to be two different time periods. My hope is that seemingly creative reset that's ahead, if it's not just a vision, comes sooner than later because I think we could use like a shifting of, of power or shake up or something to make The Walking Dead feel different than the past two it, it needs a shot in the arm right now. And, and you know, we, when Negan was first announced, we thought that would be it. Mm -hmm. And um, not to just keep piling on about it, but like Negan has become a pretty stale character. I like Jeffrey Dean Morgan, I like his performance, but it's the same thing every scene, every week. He had a couple of standout episodes. Too, yeah. Again, yeah, I mean, he had a couple of, you know, standout moments with Carl last season, um, but until we get to that interesting kind of dynamic, Right now, it's just Negan doing his thing, saying his catchphrases, and I think, selling like, stuff at Hot Topic. There was basically. season six was about the build up to the confrontation and meeting Negan for yeah. the first time. Season seven was like a, a sixteen full episodes of Rick trying to get everyone working together to fight Negan. Even if we're only looking at eight more episodes until this theorized reset, that, yeah. that's all I say for people who don't know it's coming. Like, that's still eight more episodes of a lot of what we got last season. And I'm not convinced from this premiere episode that All Out War is gonna be much different than the build up to All Out War. Yeah, no, they, they, so far they, they have shown uh, a hesitancy to really kind of, to really go there sometimes and really just take a chance on the material. Um, and hopefully this reset will do that. If but it, again, <laughs> they always just tread water. That's one of the biggest problems with the show is that they just, they repeat themselves and they tread water. And um, until they actually break free from that, I'm gonna find the show uh, a frustrating thing to get through. I, I still watch it, I've, I, you know, I've, I've seen all of it, but. For every episode I hope that I'm yeah. frustrated like this and I hope that people who are frustrated with us right now for being so negative and, and who really love the episode, like there are a lot of episodes of The Walking Dead that I did yeah. really love, but my for this one I was just surprised that this was the episode that was the premiere yeah. and the 100th episode. Uh, I this do is think a more good 103. Yeah, this exactly. Is your, I'm your like, <laughs> a couple like you don't, episodes you don't open with this. Even, even the ending with the, them getting stuck in the in the, the trailer it's like I've seen that they've done that bit so I am curious to find out like what is the deal with that guy that Carl encountered at the gas station it yeah. seems like a nice callback if we're talking about Easter eggs to the beginning of the series and some notable uh, you know gas station scenes but is that just a one-off or is that an important group uh, we are always wondering when the whispers will, uh, yeah. will arrive because just like we were wondering when Negan will arrive we're always looking what's next <laughs> uh, but but I am interested to see what pans out with that and again my I hope is that you know any creative shifting and, and resets and surprises come sooner than later so it's not just eight episodes feeling like something we've already seen yeah and, and look I, I think the the flash boards are intriguing uh, we did see a grave at one point um, who died and we're not sure like th that could be a flash board six hours from right. after you know whatever big battle it could be who knows maybe it won't even get paid off in this first half of mm -hmm. the season they're going to make us sit there throughout the whole thing to mm -hmm. get to it but i do think that there is um an interesting opportunity there to maybe if they're daring get rid of some key characters that we didn't think they would go there and, and do that to um or to you know use that jump ahead to show us a new facet of this world and a new time for these characters because you do get a, a hint of that that things are better you know so that would be nice it would be a new a new, a new kind day of way for to the look walking at dead. yeah a new <laughs> it's almost like there's a title there <laughs> <laughs> so those are our thoughts about the walking dead season eight premiere we definitely want to know yours did you disagree did you love this episode or were you with us where you think that this was a little bit of a letdown for a premiere episode and the 100th episode we have plenty more of the walking dead ahead make sure to check out matt Fowler's review of mercy which is on ign.com we also have that theory video as promised and if you want more from the walking dead cast we do have a breakdown of the cast favorite moments from 100 episodes. For all things The Walking Dead, make sure to keep it here at IGN. So please like and subscribe to IGN everywhere you like to watch.